Okay, so the goal of this video is to explain luck. Luck is really, really complicated. So I'm probably going to explain it at a higher level. And if people want it at a lower level, we can do more. But it's very complicated. So the question that keeps coming up is, does luck matter on chest runs and these sort of things? The short answer is yes. The complicated answer is yes, but it's not that impactful. And then today, I kind of want to get into why. So a lot of people are trying to farm these infixes for like close quarters blunderbuss. Uh, uh, you might be trying to get like luck for the fishbowl uh, or something like that. And I kind of want to explain how luck works from those. So if you go, so actually the first thing I explained too is like some items luck doesn't matter. So like artifacts from chest runs uh, on in Merc from the portals, they, luck doesn't matter for them if you look at the actual luck table down here. Like you see how it says greater than zero. When you're rolling for an items with luck, you're basically rolling a roll between zero and a hundred thousand. Uh, that doesn't matter for some things. And then like the, the percentage is just like hard coded in here. So it's like every time you interact with the portal, you have a 10% chance to get an artifact. So that's something that's noteworthy, I, I guess as well, but that thing aside for most things in a the game, there is some sort form of luck from this. There are basically two kinds of luck. There are clamp max luck rolls and there are, add to roll luck rolls, and then I guess there's rolls where luck doesn't impact anything at all. But we're going to talk about the luck roll specifically today, because that's what pertains to infix gear. So, if you look at this giant drop table, you see how there's like a bunch of scary looking numbers here? The infix only item down here that says greater than 90,000, that's the one that matters that we need to look at. The thing that you'll notice from here is from the elite chest, there's no loot bias, so loot bias does not matter at all when you're doing these chest runs. You can run around with whatever. If you want the uh, perk to, like, if you were trying to get armor, I think it does matter what loot bias you have, but for weapons, it doesn't seem to matter. So, like, uh, that's actually, that's probably something we should double check here before I totally uh, mess something up. So, if I look at uh, elemental hunger, for example... as an infix. So let me get rid of this. We can double check that luck matters for these. Or, or sorry, that uh, loot biasing matters for these. Oh, it doesn't. Okay, well, apparently loot biasing doesn't matter for anything in terms of infixes and open world drops. So that's noteworthy. So you can literally run around with whatever set you want. The thing that drops will not be dependent upon whatever gear that you're currently running. So that's noteworthy. Um, that aside, this number here is the thing that you're rolling versus. So when you are rolling for gear, you're basically rolling between zero and hundred thousand. And from that, if you roll high enough, you will get the item is like the, like the very short way to explain luck. There are two mods to like that. Or I guess that's how it works without luck with luck. There are two mods for how it works. There's a way to increase your chances by subtracting from the maximum value that you can roll and it's a little weird and i could show the math for it but i can't explain it super well and then there's another way that's like way more simple which it just like adds to the base of your roll the one that adds to the base of your roll anything that has that basically will ha have uh, an effect that luck matters that mod that adds to the base of the roll is not called clamp max that is called add to roll Clamp max basically subtracts from the upper bracket, and that makes it so that luck technically matters, but it doesn't matter significantly. And that's the one that this blunderbuss has. So trying to explain this gets a little complicated. So naturally, we did a micro thing and we made a graph for it. Uh, so max roll is 100,000 for everything. For this particular item that we're looking at for infix gear, you have to roll above a 90,000. So without luck... It takes about a 1 in 10 per chest. So if you open up 10 chests that can drop this, about 1 in 10 will drop it. Uh, it's The actual odds are a 0.1% without luck. So you can see that here. Uh, with luck, the odds are 0.1075. This is with the maximum luck that you could possibly get in the game, which will increase your odds to about 1 in 9.3 chests. So it goes up with about 7% luck to you know 7% more. So that checks out. The part that's weird is like what how you actually obtain this maximum luck uh, and which things particularly matter towards it. So in terms of what matters for luck, this is a table that 
uh, Jordan kindly provided me and now I'm stealing to make content about because it's very useful and explains a lot of things. So this shows which what matters the most for luck. Uh, so PvP flagging matters quite significantly. It's twice as important as your major loot luck trophies. So if you're one of those people that's like, oh, I need to increase my odds for the chest run, I need to have these major loot luck, luck trophies, they, they barely matter. So if I were to put in here uh, how much your loot luck trophies will actually just influence your luck, does it, like how, how much more likely you're going to get uh, a piece of gear, it helps by about point, uh, 0.45 percent. So you would need to like open up like what 200 chests and then you would get one more item like is that worth spending 50k gold for i would argue probably not so loot luck trophies are they're they're good they're just not that good and then like in terms of uh you, i think you could see the the amount of points it gives in terms of luck on it's either on here or it's on new road buddy yeah it says plus 150 global role mod so that that's like it says 1.5 percent chance uh, items from chests and monsters so 1.5 percent chance is true towards some things that are using the add the role modifier but it's i don't think it's true towards the clamp max stuff and that's the part that's like really really weird um so yeah so Trophies matter, but they don't matter. It's the TLDR of that. Flagging matters, but doesn't matter. Uh, the Springtide Dram is like this special food that you can get that you could basically not get anymore. Uh, and then we get on to things that are like more obtainable that actually can influence stuff like relatively quickly. Uh, there is Luck Gems. So those of you stack luck on like everything can influence how likely you are to get a piece. There is Luck on the armor, and you can get that on all your armor pieces there's luck on your weapons you can get that on your equipped weapon noteworthy it doesn't apply to your non-active weapons so if your weapon is sheath it won't apply uh, you can get luck on a shield so technically speaking i think it's uh someone who knows more about this please correct me if i'm wrong in the comments but i think if you loot a chest you want to loot a chest with a weapon that has a shield that keeps the shield out so that the luck actually applies but we can confirm that i guess in game or from here so if we look up luck, and we look up lucky four, or actually no, this isn't lucky four. This is luck from the, uh, the PVP perk, right? So it's a different kind of luck. God, this is like this is such a confusing topic. Um, so there should be a perk called luck. which I'm not finding right now. So I guess I can do it for, for just gems for now. We can just focus on gems and then I can post an update in the comments on the actual PvP perk once I remember that name. Uh, but this says on active here. So that's where a lot of this is driven from, right? If this said on equip, it would still work when you had your off and out. But because it says on active, it only works on a weapon that you have out. One question is like when you're looting something, is your... Is that piece of gear actually out? I don't think anyone actually figured out an exact answer for that. But just to be safe, you want luck on your shield, which you could technically get a shield with a gem slot now. Uh, and you want luck on your main hand weapon, and you want to be looting with a main hand weapon that can equip a shield, which means you want to be looting with an SNS, or you want to be looting a flail, technically, if you want to maximize your luck uh, based off this and how we think it works. There's also luck on bags. So you can also get luck on bags, and that also increases more. But like all these other like small factors, like the the gems and the luck on armor like that has a very like that's a much more significant modifier than the actual loot luck trophy so that's the one thing to keep in mind there uh and then there's luck if you from the faction bonus so if you're in a territory that your faction owns you get technically a little bit of a luck boost this brings out the maximum luck possible to about seven percent effectively uh which is how we got that seven thousand number right here uh which then increased stuff by uh about seven percent so that's the TLDR of luck. You could see the clamp max formula and the add to rule formula here. Uh, well, the the luck with the clamp max is effectively subtracting from the max rule. Uh, so that that one gives a nets a value that is more in line with what the actual uh, mod produces. So it's like, hey, if you have seven percent luck, it actually increases your odds by about seven percent. And then there's the Adderall one, which is just like elevating the floor, and that significantly increases your odds. Uh, this is also noteworthy for people that are like trying to find like gold, goldfish and porcelain bowls. Like if we were to put this one in, 
So if you go down here to this bottom, you see how it says 99950. Um, so if we were to hit required to 999 or 999500 and say you have maximum luck, uh, it's going to take you. I mean, this this feels like something's like almost wrong here, too, but it's not according to the formula. So um, as a base, it would take you about 200 rolls at this, which there might be something else involved, too. I don't know if there's like a luck chance involved to even getting to the roll for the goldfish and porcelain bowl, because that's something I don't completely understand. Like if there's like, hey, you have to roll for this and you have to roll for that and then you have to roll for that or if it's just like one pure roll. But it's like extremely, extremely unlikely. So it's saying like roughly one in 200. But even that feels like more likely than it, it makes sense for in my opinion. Like it's a 0 0.005 uh, odds or 0.5% is like what that would mean. But I don't know. It feels still a little bit more likely to me than I would expect it to be. Uh, but uh, I don't know. This is my... my I'm me trying to explain something I don't understand completely well, but I figure it's probably worth explaining to some extent so that people can uh, know that when they're doing a chest run for their blunderbuss that luck matters, but luck doesn't matter. Like, it matters, but it's not going to increase your odds by that much. You go from, like, 1 in 9 chest to 1 in 10. Um, so, you know, it, it matters a bit. You, you should probably use it if you have it, but don't go out of your way dying to spend 50k on major loot luck trophies because they don't matter that much and I'll, I'll put a link for this graph in the description but it's i guess it's less of math it's more just math stuff at this point but uh, it's something that kind of helped me piece together how this all works uh and with this being said a uh, shout out to jordan for trying to help uh me understand this i still don't think i completely understand it but hopefully you guys can understand it a little bit more and kind of we can work together to figure out how this all works for everything and with that being said i'll see you on the next one